Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 1, application of matrix and determinants, exercise 1.4, question number 1, fourth subdivision. Solve by Kramer's rule. We have 3 divided by x minus 4 divided by y minus 2 divided by z minus 1 equal to 0. In the second equation, I have 1 divided by x plus 2 divided by y plus 1 divided by z minus 2 equal to 0. The third equation we have 2 divided by x minus 5 divided by y minus 4 divided by z plus 1 equal to 0. When you see the question, in all the three equations, the variable x, y, z always present in the denominator. Is it clear? So, if x, y, z present in the denominator, we may assume that 1 by x has some other variable like a, 1 by y has some other variable b, similarly 1 by z as c for comfort to proceed the problem. When you assume like this, let 1 by x as a, 1 by y as b and 1 by z as c. When you assume like this, it will be very comfortable to proceed the problem. Is it clear? Therefore, the given equation, first equation, 3 times 1 by x, that is 3a, minus 4 times 1 by y, minus 4b, minus 2 times 1 by z, minus 2c. This minus 1 comes here, plus 1. And second equation, this is 1 by x, a, and 2 times 1 by y, that is 2b, plus 1 by z, that is c, when minus 2 comes here, plus 2. And the third equation, 2 times 1 by x, 2a, minus 5 times 1 by y, minus 5b, minus 4 times 1 by z, minus 4c, plus 1 comes here, minus 1. So now I am getting the linear equation in terms of a, b, c. Okay, now find out delta. What is delta? Coefficient of a, b, c. First, the first equation, 3, minus 4, minus 2. Second equation, 1, 2, 1, coefficient of a, b, c. Here, 2, minus 5, minus 4. Delta suffix A. Replace the first column by constant value appearing in the linear equation that is 1, 2, minus 1 in delta. Replace the first column by constant value 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 1. Remaining two columns as it is. Got it? And delta B. Replace the second column in delta by the constant value 1, 2, minus 1. See the first column 3, 1, 2 as it is. And second column I am going to replace my constant value 1, 2, minus 1. Got it? Third column remains as it is. Minus 2, 1, minus 4. Then delta C. Replace the third column by constant value 1, 2, minus 1. So write the first column 3, 1, 2. Write the second column, minus 4, 2, minus 5. Replace the third column by constant, 1, 2, minus 1. Got it? Very simple. Your delta is nothing but coefficient of A, B, C. Delta A, replace the first column by constant value. Delta B, replace the second column by constant value. Delta C, replace the third column by constant value. Now expand the determinant. Got it? Can you expand the determinant? Of course, it's quite common. Everybody know. Already we explained in so many places how to expand the determinant. Tell me the value of delta. Come on. 10. 15. Good. Minus 15. Okay. The value of delta is minus 15, which is not equal to 0. Very good. Delta A, very good, which is also minus 15. Delta B, 10, no, 5, minus 5, 20, well, correct, minus 5, delta C, which is also minus 5, very good. Here, delta not equal to 0, so I can use Kramer's rule. Delta not equal to 0 only, I can use Kramer's rule directly. Since delta not equal to 0 by Kramer's rule, A will be delta A by delta. What is A? Delta A is minus 15. Delta is minus 15. It gives 1. B equal to delta B by delta, which gives minus 5 divided by minus 15 delta. Minus minus cancel 1 divided by 3. Your C value will be delta C by delta which is minus 5 divided by 
minus 15. It gives 1 divided by 3. In this case, we assumed 1 by x as a, 1 by y as b, 1 by z as c. So, therefore, what is x? x will be 1 by a. What is a? 1 by 1. It gives 1. What is y? 1 by b. What is b? 1 divided by 1 by 3. It become 3. And what is z? 1 by c. 1 divided by 1 by 3 which gives 3. In this case, the system is consistent. Solution is unique. Okay. So I got the value of x, y, z finally. Solution x, y, z which is equal to 1, 3, 3. Got it? Very simple. We assumed 1 by x as a, 1 by y as b, 1 by z as c. So we are getting the linear equation in terms of a, b, c. We are getting delta which is the coefficient of a, b, c. Delta a replace the first column by constant value 1, 2, minus 1 in order. Delta b replace the second column in delta by constant value. Delta c replace the third column in delta by constant value. Expand the determinant. Of course, I am getting delta not equal to 0. When delta not equal to 0, I can use Kramer's rule directly. The value of A will appear delta A by delta. B will appear delta B by delta. C will appear delta C by delta. So, after getting A, B and C values, you want to replace here because we assume A, B, C as 1 by X, 1 by Y, 1 by Z. When you take a reciprocal for A, B, C, we will get X, Y, Z, which gives the solution as 1, 3, 3. When you substitute here, it satisfies. See, 3 divided by 1, minus 4 divided by 3, minus 2 divided by 3. It gives 1, this minus 1, so 0. When you substitute here 1 by 1, 2 by 3, 1 by 3, it gives 2, 2 minus 2, 0. Similarly here, got it?